Hi, my name is Winston Gao, and today we're going to talk about my favorite subject, water. Okay? Now, you hear doctors running around saying, like, distilled water is good for you, distilled water is bad for you, reverse osmosis water is good for you. No, reverse osmosis is bad for you. Like, who in the world are you going to listen to? I mean, I, I sit down sometimes and ask some of these doctors, oh, so you think distilled water is good, huh? Oh, yes, or no, whatever the answer may be. And I said, so which one of the four distilled waters are you talking about? And they go, Huh? You know, deer in the headlight look. What? There's four distilled waters? You gotta be kidding, you know? And here they got books written, pro or con, and yet they didn't realize there are four different kinds of distilled waters. You know, two of them are very good for your body, two of them are very bad for your body. And yet, these guys who wrote books, sell lots of them, don't even know that there are four different distilled waters. I'll give you some examples. Uh, the low temperature, low surface tension distilled water you call it rain, that's good for you. While it may be low in minerals, slightly acid, it's still good for you. I mean, when you see rainwater hits the trees and the plants and the leaves, boy, is that good water. Immediately, the trees and grasses turn green. It's very healthy water, okay? Even with a slight amount of pollution, it's still very good water. Now, let's take the other type of water, which is very common, and that is your commercially distilled water, high temperature, high surface temperature with high surface tension. This type of distilled water will leach out the minerals out of your body. That's not a good thing. So there is a bad water, okay? So distilled waters are not created the same. So that's just on distilled water, right? So there are different kinds of water. Some are good, some are bad. Reverse osmosis. Well, I basically don't like reverse osmosis at all, but there are times and places where it's very important when you have lots and lots of minerals, uh, too much salt in the water, sometimes that's the only choice you have is to use reverse osmosis to remove it. But there is some serious bad side effects. One, it is highly acidic, and two, it has certain types of frequency in that water that induces black fungus. If you want to find out more, give me a call, I'll give you the data on that. So, personally, unless I'm really starving for water, I will not drink reverse osmosis water. It's on the lowest on the list for drinking reverse osmosis water. Now, even with high temperature, high surface tension, distilled water, if you add back a little Celtic sea salt, that's still good water to drink. And finally, it's very important to understand that drinking tap water in the United States, you're dealing with 68% of the cities are probably going to have chlorine, chloramines, and fluorides in the water. Certainly, 68% of the cities will have uh, fluoride in the water. Fluoride is a very, very, very corrosive material. Europe has made it illegal. The state of Hawaii has made it illegal. The rest of the states are still slam dunking and giving you that stupid old dogma. Oh, it's good for your teeth. It's good for your bones. It makes your teeth harder. It makes your bones harder. They don't try to tell you that. But yes, it makes your teeth harder. It makes your bones harder. It calcifies your organs. It shuts down your immune system. They don't talk about that part. Yeah, it does make your teeth harder. But harder teeth means teeth that can become brittle and they can tend to be fractured. So harder teeth is actually not a good thing. Mother Nature made your teeth just right. Just so hard, but not so hard. So it has some flexibility, but not so much hardness so that it gets ruined in the sense of it's not tough enough to withstand the biting pressure. So not all that, that you've listened to in the last 50 years about pro-fluoride is true. As a matter of fact, most of it's untrue. So, it's important to take out the toxic materials out of your water. It's a no-brainer. And fluoride can be removed. I do have some fluoride removal systems that will remove fluoride to non-detectable levels. Now, watch out. There are other people who also claim they can remove fluoride. Most of them, at very best, can do about an 80% job because fluoride that's put into the uh, drinking water is industrial waste, and that's extremely difficult to take out. So. Uh, if you really want to take out fluoride, come to my website and find out what kind of equipment you can use to take out the fluoride and get good clean drinking water right at your tap. Thank you very much for listening.